We've eaten at Raglan Road multiple times and really enjoy it. When we found out that they offered a separate brunch menu on the weekends that included a full Irish breakfast, we decided we had to try it and find out if their brunch items were as good as the rest of the menu. We were also curious if their traditional Irish breakfast was as good as what we had in Ireland. In this video, we're going to share the four brunchy stuff menu items that we ordered, including the full Irish breakfast, and whether or not we think it's worth it for you to visit Raglan Road on the weekend for brunch. We didn't order any appetizers this time, but the whole table was served traditional Irish soda bread just like at dinner, along with a delicious Irish butter, which was so good. I got the pancakes diaspora, which are homemade pancakes with a creme fraiche, maple syrup, and mixed berry compote. The plate looked really good to me, and the berries on top of the pancakes were bright and vibrant, and that creme fraiche in the center looked so good. I couldn't wait to try it. And let me tell you, it did not disappoint. The pancakes were tasty and weren't dry at all. The berries were extremely fresh and the creme fraiche had a creamy texture. All of that combined with the real maple syrup on top made for an exceptional breakfast meal. I would order this again in a heartbeat and it was a brunchy item I won't soon forget. I got the Stars and Scrumpet breakfast, which was a US styled breakfast with applewood smoked bacon, crispy breakfast potatoes, and scrambled eggs, but without the buttery toasted scrumpet. The full Irish breakfast sounded the best, but being unable to eat several of the items due to dietary restrictions, I opted for this breakfast instead. The eggs were by far my favorite part of this breakfast. They were cooked perfectly with just the right amount of moisture to them so that they weren't runny, but they also weren't dry. My only complaint is that they didn't have any seasonings to them, so I had to add quite a bit of salt and pepper. The bacon though was cooked perfectly crispy and had a great crunchy flavor to it. Even though it was good, I was still a little disappointed. I had assumed that they would have Irish bacon in this meal instead of American bacon. If you have the choice, I recommend getting the Irish breakfast instead, especially since you're eating at an Irish restaurant. Overall, it was a really good breakfast, but it was just your average American breakfast that you can get anywhere. Take my suggestion and get the full Irish breakfast instead. One fun thing that you'll notice on this menu is that a lot of the items are labeled with punny and unique names that will make you laugh as you read them. What I ordered was called It's Okay to Drool, and it truly was drool worthy. This this dish was made up of their famous bread and butter pudding, served French toast style with an incredible vanilla mascarpone, hazelnut crunch, and mixed berries on the top. This easily rates in one of my top three favorite brunch items of all time. The bread pudding was soft but not mushy, and I can't even fully describe how divine all of the flavors combined actually were. The fruit was a mix of blueberries and strawberries, which paired amazingly well with the soft and so creamy vanilla mascarpone. Being that most of the dish had a soft texture. The hazelnut crunch helped to balance it all out while also adding another great flavor to this dish. There was also a side of American style bacon that was good, but nothing overly special. If you're in the mood for a sweet breakfast, I highly recommend trying this one. I will definitely order it again next time we visit Raglan Road for brunch. It's been several years since I last visited Ireland. I've been craving a traditional Irish breakfast lately, but you can't really find one around here. So as soon as I saw the they offered a full Irish breakfast on the menu, I knew what I was going to order. Of course, the first thing I went straight for was the Irish bacon. Irish bacon is very thick cut and is quite different from American style bacon. The texture is very similar to the texture of ham. In fact, it even looks like it, but it has the flavor profile of bacon. I really wish that this was more common in the States as it is my favorite bacon of all time. This bacon was perfectly authentic and instantly made me so happy. Moving on from the glorious bacon, Bacon. The next thing I tried was the black and white puddings. They were also very authentic and were full of flavor. The black pudding is my favorite, but I really like the white pudding too. If you've never had them before, don't be afraid to try them. They're both really good. The Irish Banger is much better than the breakfast sausage we normally have in America, and this one was no exception. The Banger was seasoned really well, and in general, all of the breakfast meats I like better in Ireland than what we usually serve here in the U.S. As for the Raglan Double Cooked Chips, the menu didn't explain what they were. I, however, would describe them as heavenly. At first, I was a little hesitant to try them, but I am so glad I did. Visually, they reminded me of fried scalloped potatoes, which I hate, but thankfully, they were nothing like them. 
time. They had a crispy outside and a fluffy inside with the perfect potato taste and it didn't need any seasonings or dipping sauces. I then tried the mushrooms and tomatoes and both of them were grilled to perfection. I've always thought it was nice that vegetables are part of the traditional Irish breakfast and my favorite way to eat the tomatoes is with the black pudding. The last thing I had was two fried eggs. The eggs were cooked a little longer than my personal preference but they were still really good. A testament to how good this meal really was is that I didn't need to add any seasonings to flavor the food. If you ever get the chance to go to Raglan Road for brunch, do yourself a favor and get this authentic Irish breakfast. Being that it was breakfast time, I really wanted a cup of coffee to go with my meal. Like many people, I assume would. But to my surprise, I was told they don't offer any regular coffee. They did have an espresso, so I decided to order that to fulfill my caffeine needs. It was a decent espresso, but it wasn't anything out of the ordinary, so if you're hoping for a great coffee, you might want to try somewhere else. I would highly recommend Everglaze, especially if you enjoy iced coffees. We tried two of them, which we shared about in this video here, along with some of the best donuts we've ever had. But real quick, so we don't leave you hanging, do we recommend Raglan Road for brunch? Yes. We really enjoyed this brunch and we'll be back again in the future. Now go watch this video about Everglades next.